Hey guys, what's going on? Back here with another video for you. Uh, week three in the NFL. I'm gonna give you an idea of how the games ended and uh, what the scores were, give you a little bit of insight of uh, the games and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let me get started. And uh, as always guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So first off, uh, I made a previous video about this already. The Jets and the Browns. Uh, the Browns picked up their first win in 635 days, which was pretty impressive. Uh, obviously, Baker Mayfield took over in second half, or uh, two minute warning of the first half, excuse me, due to a Tyrod Taylor uh, head injury. Uh, so tomorrow, let's look forward to see whether or not he's going to keep that job, which we all expect to happen since he also brought the first win in 635 days and uh, performed pretty lights out there. Uh, the second game was the Saints over the Falcons. The Saints got 43, the Falcons got 37. That was the third game in three weeks that went into overtime, uh, but this time it wasn't settled by a tie, thankfully. And the uh, Saints ended up picking it up in overtime. Then there's the uh, Broncos and the Ravens. The Ravens put a whooping on the Broncos, 27 to 14. So the Broncos lost their first game of the year, and uh, the Ravens moved up to 2-1 and one on the year so far. Uh, the Bengals and the Panthers, the Bengals dropped their first game as well. They lost 21-31 uh, to 31 to the Panthers. Then the uh, Giants picked up their first game of the season. The Texans continue 0-3. Uh, the Giants scored 27, Texans got 22. So... Uh, you know, that was a big moment, obviously, for the offense, especially with everyone wondering whether or not it's the end for Eli, which I still feel like it is, but, you know, I'm sure they they feel happy to get that win in. Uh, and, and then there's a boring game, the Titans at the Jaguars. That was mostly a defensive game. and a 9-6 uh, in the Titans' favor. So Jaguars finally lose one, which is good because I'm a Patriots fan. They just put a hurting on the Patriots last week. Uh, and then the 49ers and Chiefs. Unfortunately, that game ended pretty badly. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo ended up uh, doing something to his what they assume is his uh, ACL. We'll find out more about that tomorrow as well. But uh, they're thinking it's going to be a season engine and an injury, which is unfortunate because, you know, he's been great for them since he came in. He's only lost one game. Uh, this would have been his second game that he ended up losing since he put on the uniform uh, or even in his career in general. Uh, the Raiders lost the third game to the Dolphins, who are now 3-0. Uh, they're going to be taking on the Patriots next week, so I hope they can lose their first game of the season. As always, you know, I always got to go with my Patriots. Uh, but, you know, impressive stuff by them. If you want to talk impressive, anyone who's seen the first two games of the season knows that the Bills have been playing poorly. Uh, everyone's kind of expected them to just be garbage this year, and they ended up beating the Vikings. 27 to 6 uh, in the Vikings stadium so that was a huge win for the Bills uh, Josh Allen actually came out and performed pretty well and I saw him do some pretty cool stuff so uh, maybe there's some hope for him and the team there which I hope not obviously being in the AFC East uh, fan wise the Colts ended up losing to the Eagles in the first game back for Carson Wentz so uh you could see in the way that he was playing that he wasn't a, he wasn't playing scared. Uh, he was able to go out there and do really good. Obviously, got them that win that they needed. Uh, so the Eagles improved to two and one. Uh, the Packers dropped another game uh, to the Redskins. The Redskins went in there and put a hurting on them, uh, 31 to 17. Aaron Rodgers isn't looking like Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I'm wondering if that knee's still bothering him from the first game of the season. Uh, obviously, it's not good to hear. Um, and then the Rams continued to prove why they paid all the money they have for their players. They went on to win 35-23. Again, they're also improving to 3-0. So, uh, 
it's looking pretty good for them. Uh, obviously, the NFC is going to be pretty hard to go through the Rams because uh, that seems like what it's going to be. Uh, the Bears and the Cardinals. Uh, the Bears ended up winning by two points, 16 to 14. Um, and the end of about two minutes, three minutes left in the game, they decided to put Rosen in. I don't know if they're uh, going to make him the starter from here on out, but they gave him a chance to come back and win. He had some nice throws, but he only had pretty much one drive to try and do something, in which case it wasn't that great. Uh, he had another chance towards the end of the game, but there wasn't much time left. Uh, I don't know if they're going to try and judge him based off that, but I don't think that would be unfair. It's three minutes, end of the game, you pretty much were already down. It's only a two-point game, but obviously uh, it's his first ever time on a football field in the NFL. The Cowboys ended up losing to the Seahawks 24-13. Uh, obviously the Cowboys were saying that they hope after this game they can re-spark the, the conversation of Earl Thomas going over there. Uh, I don't know if you guys know anything about that, but last season, the last time they played each other, Earl Thomas went up to Jason Garrett after the game and asked them to come get him uh, this year because he wasn't going to get the contract he wanted. He still says that he'd play for the Seahawks if they gave him a contract, but if not, he wants to move out. And uh, everyone's expecting the trade talks to go up after this week, so we'll see how that goes. And now, the game I least wanted to tell you guys about because I'm still a little upset about it. Patriots ended up dropping the game to the Lions 26 to 10. Uh, Matt Patricia came in there and showed that, you know, he's not afraid to go up against the guy who mentored him for years. Uh, he went in there and gave Bill Belichick a run for his money. Uh, pretty much from the very beginning, they took the lead and they never let it go. The Patriots pl pl uh, played pretty poorly, in my opinion. Tom Brady had a terrible game. So, uh... All I can do is hope that it's going to get better from here. Obviously, the Patriots have started the season 2-2 two and two before, and they went on to win the Super Bowl and go to a Super Bowl and lose. So, you know, obviously that I'm not too worried about the season right now, but I do want to see Josh Gordon get on the field, which if you guys don't already know, yes, the Patriots traded the Browns to get Josh Gordon. Thankfully, I'm pretty, I think it was just a second-round pick that we had got get rid of. And uh, the upside potential is great. Obviously, I hope that he can steer away from the drugs and uh, actually try and have a more fulfilling career from here on out with the Patriots. I think being on a team that has a winning philosophy will give him a little more motivation. I feel like, you know, he might have been a little depressed with how uh, things were going in Cleveland for the last however many years. Uh, I think they're on an upswing, as I've said. You know, I, I see them finishing around 500 this year. So, uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what Josh Gordon can do. Julian Edelman comes back after next game. So, uh, it'll be nice for Tom Brady to have some receiving weapons again. And guys, uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for the Buccaneers versus the Saints. I'm hoping that it ends up in favor of the Buccaneers because I'm not much of a, or excuse me, I said Saints, I meant Steelers, guys. Uh, Buccaneers versus the Steelers. I'm not much of a Steelers fan, as you guys can probably imagine, the fact that I'm a Patriots fan. You know, they they tend to be mostly the competition for the Patriots when it comes to the playoffs, so I like to see them playing poorly. Hopefully they continue playing poorly. And uh, obviously, or and not obviously, but uh, I am a fan of Fist Magic, especially, uh, you know, I feel like he's uh, he hasn't really had the best opportunity to show himself. He's playing lights out we'll see how that continues as of right now it sounds like he's going to be the guaranteed starter for the rest of the year unless he does something to lose the job but they're going to give it to him because he started out really great uh so let's see if he can play pull off one more and uh before i wrap up this video guys i also want to give a little shout out to patrick mahomes who ended up setting the three game record for uh most touchdown passes the two behind him were Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, so, you know, that's a really great conversation to be in, especially your first year as a starter. He has 13 touchdown passes in his first three games, so that's pretty awesome for him. Let's see how uh, week four ends up unfolding for us. I'm pretty excited. 
and uh, I know you guys are as well. So, as always, guys, thank you for your time coming by, watching my video. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to give you all the updated information about what's going on in the NFL. As always, guys, if you stay tuned to the end, give me that big old thumbs up. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, if you like what you see or someone else needs to be caught up on what happened in the NFL, don't forget to hit that share button. Thank you for your time, guys. Appreciate you always come by and stop by my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Take care.